Family is our cultural springboard into the future. Rooted deep in our ancestral tree, we find our identity. To understand my identity, I will walk you through the veins of the Ortiz family to where our lifeblood has birthed its newest generation. Nicolas Ortiz I was born a Spanish colonist in Mexico about 1640. He had seven children, one of which was named Nicolas Ortiz II. Nicolas II had expert military training, which led him alongside Don Diego de Vargas to the reconquest of Santa Fe. On their shoulders, they carried Our Lady of Peace, La Conquistadora, to stir the hearts of the Native Americans they were at war with. Peace had triumphed and Nicolas Ortiz stayed to build a home for his family. Later down the line came Onofre Ortiz, born on June 12, 1886, from Julian Ortiz and Reyesita Quintana. His ancestry was in a small town only a few miles outside Powake, called Mambe. His family farm flourished in the arid climate replenished by the acequias and the culture of the community. Onofre later met the love of his life through his family's close ties to the community. Guadalupe V. Hill married Onofre Ortiz on November 19, 1908. Near the Sacred Heart Church in Nambe, they built a farm full of maize, frijoles, chile, melons, alfalfa, and wheat. The many seasons of selling his produce made it possible to build a mill and house livestock. In the multiple acres of land they had, every foot was utilized for an abundant crop. Of their 17 children, my grandfather Placido came out a hard-working man ready to care for his enormous family. He was always the child that sacrificed playing with his neighborhood friends to help the family farm. Stories of traveling through New Mexico searching for piñon were always told. Hot summer days were spent weeding the rows of corn, irrigating the crops, and helping with the many chores that came along with running a farm. Days of hard work would always end after supper with a daily prayer of the rosary. Catholicism and prayer was a focal point in the family. Onofre was known very well for his constant care for the church and his community. After the damaging fire to the Nambe church in 1946, Onofre donated his money and time to refurbishing the parish with La Gente. In 1928, he was offered a job in Santa Fe by a community bootlegger to build houses. Onofre saw this as a better way to provide for his large family. He brought only a few children with him while the others stayed in Nambe to help with the farm. Although the family had everything in Nambe, Onofre decided to invest in the rapidly growing city of Santa Fe and sell the family farm. With a new adobe house big enough for the Ortiz family, they now lived in Santa Fe. Onofre continued to buy land in the adjacent area and build more adobe houses and apartments which he would later rent out. This is where my grandfather Placido would meet my grandmother Charlotte. After this rich girl and farm boy Link dies, they danced a lifelong partnership. Charlotte and Placido then got married in 1938. My grandfather was always careful with his money and would save it. By building up a strong savings, he was able to buy the 26 apartment complex, Chavez Place. Managing the apartments, building adobe houses, working as a carpenter, and loving his family was Placido's life. In 1985, he built a house for himself on top of the hill, four miles up the road from Chavez Place. All the woodwork and doors throughout the house was made by his hands. He was a very simple man that valued faith and hard work. His new home on top of the hill was surrounded by a garden full of food for the whole year. Placido was pulled back to his ancestral practice as a farmer. In his shop, the smell of wood chips and a hot stove will always be remembered. His amazing craftsmanship was called to build the altar and podium in the St. Francis Cathedral. What an honor this was and he still remains so modest. His faith in the church and his devotion to La Conquistadora will never be forgotten. Placido would constantly volunteer and take communion to those sick in the hospital. He loved to work for others and in fact that is what he lived for. When I was a child my mom would often let grandma and grandpa take care of me during the day. Gardening and working alongside Pampa in his workshop was my childhood. Cherries, apples, apricots, and grapes were always available for the taking. Grandpa would always share his secret carne seca stash with my brother and I. The time my brother and I were able to spend with my grandparents will be treasured forever. It will always remind us of the Borrego Trail of our ancestors that we follow. We walk along this path and hope that our children will walk with the same pride as those before them. 
continuing this honorary line here in New Mexico is my dream. Que viva de la familia.